Hmm. I really wonder if I'm booking a professional entertainer. How do you know that you're booking a professional entertainer? Hmm. That is a really good question, right? And in today's video, I'm going to answer just that. But before I do, I want you to know something. I've been performing since 2007. My safe, clean, fun hypnosis show to audiences all over the world. I am a professional entertainer, and that's why I'm going to show you and teach you how you know that you can book a professional entertainer for your next event. Okay, so you want to know how to know that you're booking a professional entertainer. Well, I like to say that it comes down to a few things. And the number one thing that you're going to do, let, let's go through the sequence, right? So the first thing you're going to do when you're looking for an entertainer is you're going to either look for an agency that has entertainers, or you're going to find an entertainer on your own. I highly recommend actually finding an entertainer on your own. I really do. Because agencies are kind of like meat markets, and they just push whoever they have out for that day. But if you work with an entertainer one-on-one, -on -one, or through their office, then generally you're going to have a better experience. So, number one, you're going to look for an entertainer. So you're going to, who should I hire for my company holiday party? And a whole bunch of people are going to come up. Well, that's the first thing there. You're going to look, do they have professional materials on their website? doesn't matter who it is, whether it's a stage hypnotist like me, or a piano player, or maybe it's pro wrestling. Whatever it is, you're going to look for professional materials. Simple as that. Does it look professional? Does it give you the right feel? That's the start. Next, you're going to contact them. How are you going to contact them? You're either going to send an email or you're going to phone them. Pretty simple as that. Maybe you're going to fill out a form like you do on my website where you fill out a form and they'll send a quote out to you. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, I have a specific budget. Maybe I should be looking for a professional entertainer within this budget. I'm going to tell you the honest truth. Your budget, you might be able to hire the best entertainer in the world for 50 bucks. You might be able to hire the best entertainer in the world for $500,000. Your budget... It's, if they're a professional, they have set prices. They really do. And they'll work with you, but generally, they're going to want a specific rate. Now, past that, you're, you're, you're going through the website. You're seeing, oh, they've got testimonials. That's awesome. And what kind of testimonials should they have? They should have video testimonials. They should have audio testimonials. And they should have written testimonials. And why do you want those things? Well, simply because you want to make sure they are who they say they are. I've got over 100 testimonials I can send you, by the way, if you want to want them. Um, next, you're going to look at how long have they been working? How much experience do they have? Have they been working since 1992? Chances are they're professional if that's the case. They've been in the business a long time and they know how to actually entertain people. If they've been working since 2007, they're probably pretty good. If they've been working since 2021, they're probably not that good. Or... They may not be to the level that you need for your event, like a company holiday party or a corporate event. Now, the next thing you're going to look at is their demo video, and you're actually going to go through their demo video. You're going to forget the glitz and the glamour, and you're actually going to see what are the people doing in that demo video. What's it actually look like? Is it a bunch of fancy jump cuts, or is there genuine good times being had? For instance, for a comedian, is it a laugh track? Listen to it real close. Is it a laugh track, or is it real laughter? Big difference there, right? Anybody can have a laugh track. Yep. Something to watch out for. Is it a bunch of jump cuts? Did you laugh at the jokes the comedian said? Or do you enjoy the music that is being played? Hmm. Next thing I want you to think about is how big of an audience does this entertainer usually have? Does it match the audience that you have? For instance, for me, generally I perform for groups between 60 and 2,000. Now, I can match my promo materials to each one of those. So it really depends on what your needs are as well. Now, you've looked at them. You've made sure they're good as far as their promo, promo materials go. And you see they have testimonials. You see they have a demo video. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to phone them. You're going to call them. Or you're going to fill out their form. And is it professional? It's a professional. It's as simple as that. What's the feeling that you get off of that phone call? When, when you ring them up, do they answer, Hey, how's it going? Or whatever. When you email them, do they email back in a professional manner? And 
Another thing that you're going to see is that are they asking you questions about your event? Things like how many people are there? How much interest are they showing in your event? How many people are there? Where is it located? All that stuff. A whole whack of questions. I ask about 15 questions for every event that I do. Simply so I know how I can serve you. So make sure your entertainer that you're going to hire does the same thing. Now, the next thing is, when they do answer you on emails, is it professional? When they answer on the phone, is it professional? And I mean really professional. Is it, hi, Bob's car wash? Or is it, hey, hi, this is Jesse Lewis Hypnosis. How can I help you today? Right? Simple as that. Now, the next thing is you're going to get to the quote phase. Are they going to send you a professional quote? And quotes can come in different forms. I do mine in video proposals just like this generally, either like this or through a PowerPoint slide deck. Simple as that. Is the proposal professional enough for you? Do you feel it's professional? Do you think they spent the time and energy to warrant you hiring them? Pretty smart, right? The next thing you're going to do is when they send the proposal is what alternative services do they offer? Because sometimes, for instance, I will offer DJ services because I know several DJs that are a great add-on to my events that I do. And I know a whole bunch of other entertainers that are great add-ons to my events that I do. When Once you're done the proposal stage and you've agreed, they're going to send you a contract and a rider. Now, contract is real simple. Does it look professional? Do you agree to the terms that are in there? Was it all discussed on the phone? Simple as that. And the rider, well, does the rider demand too much stuff? Do they want green M&Ms only? Do they want a bottle of Jack Daniels? Stuff like that. Because generally, if you're going to have to deal with that stuff, especially in a corporate environment for a corporate holiday party or a company picnic or a wind-up or something like that, you don't want the hassle of having to deal with somebody's performance rider. Just simple as that. You want to be able to agree with their contract, get what they actually need, and all that extra stuff is just garbage, to be honest. Unless there's some big famous star, it's garbage, to be quite honest. Now, as long as you're good with all that, then that's how you know that you're booking a real professional entertainer. And let me tell you, there are a lot of horror stories I have out there where I've seen people do things like smoking on stage. I've seen people out back drinking behind, behind the buildings and things like that. And that's not the type of entertainer you want. You want a real professional entertainer that is there to absolutely make your audience so happy, so excited that the entertainment is there. And that's what you should be getting when you hire a professional. I want to thank you for watching this video. My name is Jesse Lewis. Yeah, I perform stage hypnosis all over the world, and it's a lot of fun. So I want to thank you for watching the video. Uh, in the next video, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about, but I want you to know that Feel free to check them out. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video.